Hong Kong has put another residential building in lockdown as COVID-19 continues to surge in public housing estates. The city now has more than 120 new infections. As Hong Kong presses on with its zero COVID strategy, Chief Executive Carrie Lam says it's unlikely social distancing measures will be eased even after the Chinese New Year break. Deborah Wong tells us more. With the city in its fifth wave of infections, Hong Kong's leader Carrie Lam has defended herself against criticism for not wearing a face mask at the news conference. I'm very solemn because I'm very worried. And wearing the mask will not allow people to see for themselves the chief of the chief exec or the chief of the Hong Kong SAR. I'm the chief executive of the Hong Kong SAR. People need to understand and feel my feeling. At a regular media briefing, the message is clear. Hong Kong will pull out all the stops to shut the virus down. And Mrs Lam says it is unlikely the current month-long social distancing measures will ease after the Chinese New Year break. Over 200 positive cases have emerged in one of the city's largest public housing estates in the past week. 67% stem from just one block alone prompting health authorities to extend its five-day lockdown by another two days. This, and the rise in other unlinked cases across the city, has raised questions on whether a wider lockdown is necessary. Mrs Lam says it boils down to a matter of resources. Already, the city has rolled out preemptive testing, collecting sewage samples and raising its daily testing capacity by 50% to 150,000. It's prepared to do more with help from mainland, as Hong Kong stands firm on its strict zero-COVID policy. One expert says there are still sufficient healthcare resources to take in infected cases, but the sustainability of the trace, test and isolate approach hinges on how fast Hong Kong can raise its vaccination rate. Close to 80% of the city's population have received their first jab. So what we want to do is that we want to buy time uh, to increase our vaccination rate. Well, I think uh, for the extreme ages, like the above 80s, the vaccination rate is still around 30% in Hong Kong. You send the outreach team to get them vaccinated, and then only if they opt out of the program, then they would not be vaccinated. Then in that case, then you can do a, a, a mass vaccination uh, within a very short period of time. Hong Kong has mooted a vaccine bubble at public amenities to increase vaccine rates, with an eye on reopening borders with the mainland. Even when borders eventually open, it might risk further COVID-19 exposure, since China has yet to put a lid on its own outbreak. Even if we get down to zero in Hong Kong, we reopen our borders with China, we're opening ourselves up to more infections coming in. But at the same time, the Hong Kong government, in order to open up its borders, has to um, reduce the infections and the cases in Hong Kong down to zero. It's a case of politics trumping health policy in a way. Meanwhile, Mrs Lam urged residents to reduce social gatherings during the Chinese New Year period. She's not ruling out further lockdowns at more places if the community spread worsens. But she says the government will take a prudent approach as it considers the impact on the public. Deborah Wong, CNA, Hong Kong.